I remember I was high on crystal meth and my, my, some friends invited me to church and I went to a church just because I wanted to get clean. I want to hang out with them because they didn't party and stuff and their lives weren't all jacked. So I went to church and just the, the, the pastor just said that, you know, Jesus is real. And if you just, you got to hang out with him and talk to him like a best friend. And uh, then the stuff in your life, you don't got to get perfect. He said, he said the stuff will start to fall away from you because you, because God will become real to you. So I went home and I prayed. I received Christ. I raised my hand and, you know, I did all that, but I, I really took it seriously. I was like, I'm going to go home and, and, and talk to God and see if he's like real. And if it's, it don't work, then cool later, you know, I'll try something else. So I went home and I did that for the next couple of weeks. And it seemed like every time I opened the Bible, it was like was speaking to my life, you know? And I was like, I feel like this thing's talking to me. It was tripping me out. And I was like, I was still doing the drugs. So I was like, okay, I need to get some sleep, you know? <laughs> but even the people that weren't on drugs were telling me, you know, sometimes this, this stuff will jump out at you, you know, and God will speak to you through the word. So one day, two weeks later, I was just, I was reading it. I was still on the meth and I was looking. And I was like, is this stuff real, you know? Is this stuff real? And I just felt like a total, like, just peace and love, like, pour into me. Like, it was divine love. It was like n nothing else I've ever felt before in my life. And I suddenly knew that God was real and that he was really chasing after me to probably save me from death. And you know, and step in before I, I killed myself. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, KG5 to the 2. Now, you probably figured out already that, yes, I am in my car right now driving. Uh, but I'm doing this for a reason, because about a couple months ago, as I was heading down the road, I started to hear this, basically, this fire engine noise going off behind me. So I freaked out, I pulled off to the side of the road, I kept looking behind me, but couldn't see anything. A few minutes later, same exact thing happened, same scenario. And I'm trying to sit there in my mind going, what is going on? Well, it turns out what had happened was my three-year-old had basically left one of his toys in the back seat. But it was so far off behind there, it made it sound like a fire engine was going on behind me. God is trying to get a hold of us. You see, just like a fire engine warns us to get out of the way because he's trying to get somewhere, God's Holy Spirit is trying to warn us of the things that try to pull us down. There's a lot of junk that wants to leave you distracted. You want to take your eyes off of Christ and put your eyes on the wrong things. The Holy Spirit speaks in a still small voice. It's time we start listening. Something to think about. That's what I think this world needs is the re uh, touch from God because you can hear words. Like I took what that guy told me, Jesus is real. And I took the words and I went to God by myself in my house, you know? And I didn't know if I was talking to the wall or just talking to the air, but I was like, I'm going to try this. If you're real, change me and let me, let me know. And just, he showed me. He turns it all around somehow, you know, if, you know, so it's like, it certainly helped to, to, what I'm doing now. So I don't know how, like maybe he allowed it because, because he sees everything. You know? If he knows the, how many hairs are on our heads, you know, then he's got to know like every, every, everything. So. I don't know, I'm just happy I'm here and I'm just going forward and I'm living my destiny and it, there's nothing like more satisfying than that. I just want to like, uh, just to share, just share my experience and my main thing is how, how real God is and I just want them to know like, I want to encourage them and like convince them to go home and get to know God by themselves, like alone, get plugged into a church and all that, of course, but that's nothing compared to like, that's only the beginning. Like that's supposed to fill you up for your, for your relationship at home. You know what I mean? With him. Cause it's the everyday, like God is love. And he just, I want to pour in this generation that revelation so that they can like, like get, just get radical with, you know, intimate with him, you know? Hey, what's up? This is Brian Head Welch, and uh, back in the 90s, I, I reached my dream. I became uh, the most successful rock star at one point than, than any band out there, and uh, millions of dollars, cars, houses, everything, and um, my life spiraled downhill with drugs and just that whole crazy lifestyle. So uh, as a last resort, as I was hooked on crystal meth, I went and reached out 
for God and I, I tried Jesus, man. I just wanted to see if he was real. And I was just gonna try it and you know, if he wasn't real, if I didn't feel nothing, then I was gonna go back to whatever. And so I just, I just tried it. I just said, Jesus, if you're real, you know, show me. And he showed me, he took all the drugs from me. He poured his, like, his love and his, it's just a tangible peace inside and all around me. And I, uh, I gave up everything and I'm raising my kid now. My life's never been better. And uh, man, it all looked so crazy to me on the outside. I was like, Jesus, I mean, who, you don't see nothing, invisible. Jesus and I was like what's it what does all this mean but I tried it and he's so real man and it's the best thing I've ever did so do it now ask Jesus into your life and just uh, it's the realest thing I've ever had man and uh, I'll be praying for you if ex guitars for corn Brian head Welch who used to open for Ozzy Osbourne and had the world on a silver platter if none of that satisfied everything that the world could give him, whoa, that is a statement right there. And he gave God his last resort shot. The deal was, if it doesn't work with us, then I'm just gonna move to the next thing. Because as you heard in his testimony, that's what he had been doing. He tried the drugs, he tried the ladies, he tried every addiction out there, all kinds of different religions, tried them on like a bracelet. If it didn't work, going on to the next one. But Jesus Christ was real. He said the word tangible. Can Jesus be tangible in our life? Oh yes. And it worked for Brian Head Welch. That's right, with Brian you could just see the peace that he has. Mm. He has this joy. And you could be out there thinking, you know what, I want that. I'm looking for that. And you might not be dealing with as serious a thing as drugs as he did, but you might have other challenges out there that you're dealing with but it all leads to a void that can only be filled by God. And that's by having a real relationship with Jesus Christ. We ask you and challenge you to go out there and find what a real relationship with Jesus is all about. If you need anything, if you have questions, reach out to us, therevolutiontv.com. Email us, we'll email you right back. We'll help you find a good Bible-believing church, therevolutiontv.com. The answer is out there, and the answer is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus stuck for Brian Head Welch. What more proof do you need? That's been The Revolution. Thank you so much for watching. If God be for you, who could stand against you?